The move by the Education Cabinet Secretary to revoke the appointment of Professor Kiyama Gitahi as Vice-Chancellor and appoint an acting Vice-Chancellor for the University of Nairobi has been challenged at the Employment and Labor Relations Court. In her ruling, Justice Maureen Onyango suspended Professor Isaac Mbeje's takeover as acting Vice-Chancellor. The orders will remain in force until February 5th when the case will be heard. According to Professor Kiyama, who filed the suit through lawyer Fred Ngatia, the cabinet secretary has no power to revoke his appointment, having been selected by the university's council after a recruitment process. <laughs> professor Magoha, who also dissolved the Professor Julia Ojiambo led university council, maintains that due process was not followed in Kiyama's appointment. Whatever you are seeing in the press is an informed process coming from somewhere. And that uh, we must remember that there is only one government. Even me, as somebody bestowed with the whole sector, I cannot and shall not appoint anybody without consultation. Earlier in the day, both the university's Senate and the academic staff union Uwasu backed the decision by the CS to appoint Professor Mbeche in acting capacity. Kitendo cha waziri kumtimua na pia kutuma nyumbani jopo la wajiri la chuo kikucha Nairobi ndio kilichofungua macho kwamba taratibu na kanuni zinazohitajika kufuatwa ili naibu wa, mwe, wa, wa mwenyekiti wa chuo kikuu aweze kuteuliwa azikuwa zimekamilika when you are told to step aside and allow the process to come to conclusion in the ordered manner you do not contest it and keep just thumping and putting your picture in the newspapers as if the vice chancellor is a picture, the vice chancellor is the head of an institution. And that kind of misdemeanor doesn't work well for the future of the institution. The court order is a reprieve for Professor Kiyama, who had already made plans for his installation as the university's vice chancellor. Caleb Ratemo, K24 Evening Edition.